Hi everyone and welcome to the series 15 monthly rivals. In this round we get to drive the new to Forza Horizon 5 Keddy Limo around the Stadia circuit in D-Class. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be an interesting exercise. I kinda dreaded starting this session quite a bit because I'm not a huge fan of really big cars and I'm not a huge fan of meme cars and obviously this uh, Limo is both of those and as usual we'll do a couple of standing starts then once I'm unable to beat the rivals time from the standing start we'll do a few rolling laps and see where we land on the leaderboards. The first person the game recommended me to try to beat is Fireforge 710 which is one of the viewers on the channel so really nice to have that much but the first lap is usually uh, just setting a very initial baseline to understand how the car handles, how it turns in and I absolutely expected this caddy to not be able to turn at all so I was like uh, what do we do in the corners but surprisingly it actually handles quite a bit better than I thought it's not a it's not your handling beast and I have no idea whether it will perform well once properly tuned in any kind of racing condition but for the rivals yeah I wasn't really suffering when driving it which happened more than once with other cars so that's not a bad start and yeah we're getting to the end of the first lap obviously beating the initial time almost by 12 seconds but uh, then things should get a little bit harder now we are matched with form firm who's an absolutely brilliant painter and i use his liveries quite often and as you can see he's already on the flying lap uh, so we have a little bit of a challenge to try to beat the flying lap time from the standing start but i believe i should be capable of it um, i have a little bit of experience by now with how the game recommends and how i progress through the times so uh, i should be able to gain the uh, the gap that is required to finish ahead as you can see we are already catching up so i don't think form firm was really pushing any hard should be able to catch especially after this corner this corner is always tricky for me because really you should be able to go through it flat out or with just a minimal lift but if you catch the racing line a little bit wrong or just get into the checkpoints on the wrong angle um, you are completely screwed you'll end up either on the in the best case either on the grass on the outside or in the worst case in the wall flagging your lap time but i managed to evade this for a successful overtake closer to the end of the lap and this is form firm done. The third recommendation from the game was another brilliant painter, which is quite interesting. I get a really creative suite of people uh, being recommended for me by Forza Horizon 5. This is PTG Fluix over here. And uh, now I need to catch up quite a bit more again from the standing start that was my attempt. So I tried to employ what. I learned from the car and the track in the two previous attempts. You may have noticed I took uh, the first corner quite a bit wider just to allow myself a uh, more shallow entry into the corner and therefore straighten up the car earlier on and get uh, on the power earlier on. And that seemed to work. Again, I'm gaining on the Fluix though. This might be quite a bit closer than the case with the form firm and I think I'm reaching the limit of what I can achieve with a standing start in this session but yeah getting really close now should be better through this set of slow corners just need to make sure I turn in properly and don't hit the wall you need to be really close to the wall but not at it sometimes you can even graze the wall a little bit without it flagging your time but that's a little bit risky so i leave a bit of space but now the work is done three tenths on fluix and off we go for flying laps because 
Chazzy's target time there was said was more than two seconds ahead and that's definitely not something I can gain any more on the standing lap but uh, again it doesn't look like Chaz was pushing too hard usually uh, we are racing really close when we get together but uh, now you can see immediately after the first set of corners um, what is it two car length ahead so that is good and yeah should be able to beat his time quite easily which should lead us to an actual real challenge afterwards but now I just need to concentrate on getting through this corner nice I had to lift off so I know I lost quite a bit of time in that corner uh, didn't change the outcome for Chaz's rival but that just means I have more time to gain even at my skill level just coming out of this corner really close to the wall not bad I'm not hating this lap at all and coming up to the finish with uh, yeah very very significant gap let's see what it is it's gonna be 2.7 seconds and now the final lap is against Ryan who's kind of my nemesis on uh, rivals usually when I arrive to his time being recommended it's a 50-50 chance that are going to beat it. The bad side of it for me is that uh, there's almost a 100% chance that after I clear his time, he'll come back online, see the notification and beat me again by some ridiculous amount. But uh, it's always a good fun and close racing. As you can see, while I managed to stay ahead right now on the fifth lap, uh, he's really close just behind maybe a car length or so from my rear bumper and this corner again is absolute key to performance and this time I managed to do it right at least I think so because I didn't have to slow down at all and went through flat out full gas and that is fine on my previous four laps that I did I didn't manage to do it and Ryan was always ahead after that corner but now this was the key for my success and I managed to pull through beating Ryan this time by 0.7 seconds which is really nice hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one